worked with velvet yarn and after finishing your project you realize oh my gosh what is happening my project looks like it's falling apart little things coming out of it well there's actually a name for this. It's called worming and it looks really bad. You definitely don't want it to happen. But luckily there are a couple things you can do to prevent worming in your crochet projects when you're working with velvet. For one, you really wanna keep your tension as tight as possible and consistent. So don't be crocheting along and then randomly have a stitch that's just super big next to all of your tight stitches. That's just, that's not good. The next thing you wanna do is do stitches that prevent worming. Double crochet is like the last stitch you wanna do with velvet yarn. What I like to do is a half double slip stitch. So what you do is you yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop and pull through everything you have on your hook. It's pretty much a slip stitch, but you yarn over first. If you're using velvet to sell, you really want to make sure that your projects aren't worming, but velvet is so fun to work with and it sells amazing at markets. So I highly suggest giving it a